Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at Wise Game Booster. Okay, so this is a free to download game booster. It will help improve um, your game performance if your system doesn't have the most RAM in the world or has a slow processor. Okay, so there's always the argument they don't do too much and so on but to be honest I think they do actually help a lot because well as you can see here it ends useless processes so in your background you could have I don't know like what have I got down here so I've got a, load, a couple of things down here running and like blue stacks and stuff and it will end those processes okay when I launch my game so and then that extra RAM that I've just freed up will be dedicated to the game okay so if you've not got you know a good um, system then you need all the memory space you can get um, well free memory you can get so we're now going to press free download and that's just downloading now and we're going to run the setup file so we're going to go I accept Always be careful when installing new software to your machine because you don't know what else it could install with the install. So if there's a custom option, I always recommend checking it. Okay, right, so we're going to go finish and launch the Wise Game Booster. Okay, so do you want WGB to search for all your local games? Okay, so we're going to go yes. We want it to find any games that are installed on my system. I do have a couple installed, so it should hopefully find a few. Um, fingers crossed, anyway. <laughs> okay, so it's just on 33% now. So, as you can see here, this is where all our games are going to be. Then we got our system optimizer here, and we got our process optimizer and our service optimizer. So, it's found 26 issues. Okay, and okay, why it's not found anything any games apparently let's just close it down make sure it's not in the background and launch it again okay so that's that's strange let's just press search again and just make sure if not we may need to add the games manually oh this could actually be because all my games are installed on my D drive instead of my C drive because I don't have a lot of space on my C drive. So it might not be picking the games up. So that that's probably what's going on here actually. So I would have to add the games manually. Okay so yeah that, that seems to be the problem here. So I'm just going to go to my D drive quickly. And I'm going to go to there. And let's just go Sims 4. And go to game, and there we go. Let's go to 64 bit and open. Okay, so as you can see, it's now added The Sims 4. So if we run it, then it will optimize everything before we run the game. Okay, so if you have got your games installed in another hard drive or it's not picking them up, then you can add them like I just showed you there. So we're now going to go across to System Optimizer. So, here is a list of things that can be optimized, okay, to make your system run a lot faster, okay. So, like here, close animation effect showed when maximizing and minimizing a window to speed up window response. Okay, so, that is more for Windows. So, if you find your Windows operating systems rather slow, then, yeah, you can optimize that and that will help. And I suppose that would help... Uh, make your game run faster as well. Okay, so we can optimize our um, Ethernet card performance, and yeah, there's a few things there. So we're just going to select optimize all now. Okay, so that's all optimized, and we're going to go across to process optimizer. So here, as you can see, OBS, which is what I'm using to record this video right now, that's using 8.4 CPU usage. And as you can see, it's using 322 meg of RAM. So if I was to end that, then all that memory 
and CPU would then go towards the game, okay? So, yeah, obviously, it's worth doing. So, like, Discord there, I could end that. I don't, I'm not even using that at all. It's just running idle in the background on my system. Okay, so there's a few things here. Uh, McAfee, security scanner. I've not even, not even using that, so I could end that, and that would free up quite a bit of space as well. So there's that, so definitely worth optimising all that, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to close this recording. So obviously run that before doing your games. And here we've got a few services which can be stopped as well. Okay, like uh, remote desktop, um, here we go, uh, if we can drag that across, oh no, maybe not. Okay, but yeah, so... There we go. Right, so we got security center, Windows update. We could turn that off. Why do we need that running whilst we're playing the game? No need. Okay, anyway, so you can go optimize all there as well. Okay. Um, I believe when you run the game, it does actually optimize stuff for you, I believe. Um, actually, no, I don't think Game Booster does. If we just go into the settings quickly. Um, where are they? About us, contact us. Okay, so I can't see the settings there. Um, no, there's no settings. Okay, so I would press optimize all um, before you run your game. Because... I don't think it does actually optimize the game before launching it. Okay, so always make sure you press optimize all. It is safe, and then obviously you can unoptimize it all once you finish playing your game. Okay, so unfortunately that does um, up here. By the way, it'll be restore. Okay, so. Let's just show you that. So if I go on service and we go stop Windows update. So that's stop now. If we go on to restore, we can start that again. Okay, we'll press resume all. Okay, there you go. That's that's started again. Okay, and any of the system stability, we could go resume all. Okay, so there you go. That's all back to normal again. And here on the process optimizer, obviously any programs that you closed. You just open them again. Okay, so yeah, you, you on this program, press optimize all and then launch your game. Okay, so I hope this tutorial helped. Um, if it did, hit that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. If there is a tutorial that you'd like me to do, then comment below or send me a private message and I will look into doing one.